Hello. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, automatically calibrate your uh, Pico VNA using the new Pico VNA eCal uh, devices. I've got one here in my hand. Um, before I do that, I'm going to kick off a manual uh, calibration so that in part two, I can make some comparisons of the quality of calibration uh, between using the eCal module uh, and, the, uh, and the manual approach. Um, so let's get going on that. Um, you can see here I've got, a, uh, I've got two male PC 3.5 um, uh, ports that I wish to calibrate uh, and I've got one of our premium uh, uh, female calibration standards here. So let's get this underway. Um, the first thing I have to do, of course, is to check uh, which calibration kit I've got loaded to the VNA at the moment. Uh, and it's currently the eCal, so we want to do a manual cal, so we load kit one. Cal kits, and uh, I'm using this one here. So let's load that. Uh, I only need to load that to port one because I'm doing a non-insertable calibration using uh, just one uh, calibration standard here. Okay, apply, close. So my setup is a full span sweep. I'm using 201 points. Um, my IF bandwidth I'm using today is 100 hertz. And we uh, check that the uh, correct cow is loaded, uh, the correct kit is loaded to port one and port two. We're going to do a non-insertable calibration with one calibration kit. And I begin with the load. Okay, so um, while he gets on with that, by the magic of video and video recording, we'll use our um, e-calibration device uh, in parallel and see how we get on uh, with this. Okay, so the short open and load and through that we've uh, done our manual calibration with, those parts are within, they're all within this module along with um, uh, microwave switches so that we can automatically over USB control um, uh, select the short open loads and throughs uh, uh, when we need to. The device also stores its own characterization data uh, so that is in there too uh, and can be read uh, over the uh, USB interface. Okay so the first thing we do with our e-calibration module is that we plug it in because this is a USB device uh, and as soon as I've plugged it in you can see that it's gone into a, uh, a heating condition because this is an oven device the standards the short the open the load and the through within the device are ovened uh, so we need to bring those up to temperature um, so that is now uh, warming up for us uh, let's begin the connect oh look at that it's uh, it's all ready for us to use uh, let's begin the connections. Uh, I'm connecting uh, port A of the device to port B. Ah, port A of the device to port 1 of the VNA and port B to port 2. And that's going to be important. We are going to have to remember that or be aware of that as we go through the calibration process. So there we are, we've got the device warmed and ready to use. So here we are, our first uh, action is to uh, check the calibration kit that is loaded to the ports. Uh, and you can see we've got, um, uh, uh, this is not an eCal module that is uh, uh, loaded to ports one and port two at the moment. So let's select electronic cal kit.
So if we recall the connections that we made earlier, uh, I connected port A to port 1 and I connected port B to port 2. So we're going to be using this interconnection detail. But I will just mention these other two. Um, the ECAL module is supplied with a little adapter. And you may be able to see uh, that adapter has a little blue band at, uh, at one end. So it's a marked, it's a polarised adapter. And this adapter has been characterised uh, and comes with uh, your ECAL module. And it can be used in this configuration. Uh, the mark is and the adapter is applied with the mark towards port B. And I would then be able to calibrate uh, an insertable calibration in which I have a male port on port 1 and I have a female port on port 2. Um, uh, equally, I could fit the adapter with the blue band uh, towards port uh, B again turn the whole thing around and I could use this connection with the male with the female port on port one uh, and the uh, male port on port two of the BNA. So three connections available uh, for the um, for the e calibration module as supplied with its adapter and that's what those other connections are for. So Let's uh, find and load the EasyCal data, and there you go, it's found this module. The eCal has been loaded. It's reminding me that I must still apply that when I leave this menu. Okay, exit. Apply the eCal module to port 1 and port 2. Close. Okay, we are ready to perform our calibration. So, and uh, you'll notice we always check, we always check that the modules are indeed loaded, um, e uh, port A to port 1 and port B to port 2. We're going to perform a non-insertable uh, uh, duct measurement uh, because we've got two male ports, one cal kit, and all I need to do is start uh, one of these operations here. And uh, as you can see, the operation begins uh, automatically. So now it's done its short on port 1 and open on port 2. That was short on port 2 and open on port 1. Load on port 1. Load on port 2. And through. There we are. We're finished. Apply calibration. start. There we are. Uh, so we've completed our calibration and we are indeed ready to make measurements. Okay, so my timings there did not include the kit file loading, but I did look at the repeated calibration process. And at 30 seconds, eCal beat manual cal by over four minutes. The serious point being that fast, accurate, convenient calibration leads to the most important benefit of all. Regular calibration. Calibration wherever you really need it and is not too disruptive that compromise might be a better option. For speed, for instance. Three eCal purchase options are available from Pico in male, female, and a dual kit addressing both male and female uh, test ports. The supported calibration types and lead configurations are shown uh, just below on my slide there. Now, some of you might have noticed that I haven't really yet dealt, dealt with the, uh, the accuracy of, uh, of e-calibration relative to manual calibration. For that, we need to see part two, please. And that is coming right up.